the light from the day is slowly fading behind the warm city skyscraper. The street lamps flicker on and you smile, feeling their warm protective orange light guiding your way home. You notice the streets are filled with cars and people happily going home from work as you are. Continuing your smooth pace, you close your eyes and take in a deep breath. Letting the cool, crisp autumn air fill your lungs, all your senses collapse into an abyss of peace. Then everything goes silent. You open your eyes to see the streets are empty of all life that was once there. The once warm street lamps are now a fluorescent alabaster. Suddenly, the cool, crisp air is now a cold chill. You feel as though you are being watched. You feel a presence, stopping completely and turning slowly to look. Standing under the fluorescent street light is a shadow. You don't know why, but you can't seem to place where you'd seen it before. All you know is that both of you are acquainted in some way. You quickly turn and walk away faster than before. That's when you hear the rhythm of its footsteps, each step seeming to get louder. You begin jogging, hoping to lose the shadow. Instead, it follows suit. Hearing its footsteps get louder, you run. Slowing your running to a jog, and then finally to a stop, you sacrifice a look. Under the street lamp behind you, you see nothing. It's gone. But how? Where could it have gone? You start to run, but it is standing right in front of you. It smiles and reaches a frail hand to touch your forehead. In that second, there is a ringing in your ears and you hear your heavy breathing. Losing all hope, you close your eyes and pray for this nightmare to end. Then, suddenly, behind your eyes, there is a bright light. You open them to see a hole filled with white light in the chest of the shadow. The shadow's knees buckle and it doubles over, holding its chest where the light is coming from. And it rears its head back and screams silently. Then, in the blink of an eye, the shadow is gone. That's when the life of the city returns. The warm street lamps, the people, the cars, and the lighted store windows. On the cement ground, there's ash, but it doesn't smell of smoke. You go down to touch what was once your most feared stalker, but the cool, crisp breeze blows it away. You walk towards the city, forgetting the shadow, remembering only the light.